Hi, Ms. Fowler Neal here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find and submit different types of assignments in Schoology. So to start, you'll need to get to your course, which you can find by clicking the Courses button up at the top and choosing your class. You can see I am currently in my biology course. Uh, it's started me on the updates page. I can see any messages that my teacher has sent to the class. And over here on the upcoming side, I can see any assignments that I have that are going to be due soon. So right now it looks like I have two assignments that are due. To get to those assignments, over here on the left, I'll choose the materials tab. Under the materials tab, there will be different folders that your teacher has created. Right now I only have one, so I'm going to choose my unit 1.1 folder. And you can see I have several things here. But you might notice that these down at the bottom I don't have the ability to click on yet. Your teacher may set it so that you have to complete your assignments in a specific order. Right now, it won't let me complete any of my assignments until I've opened up this notes. So I have instructions here from my teacher, and then I must view this notes page. So I'll go ahead and click on that to open it up. And here are some notes that my teacher has left for me. And once I've done that, I can either click the Next button, which allows me to go straight to the next assignment, or I can click back on my Unit 1.1 folder. So by going back to the folder, you'll see that opening these notes unlocked these three assignments for me. So I'll go ahead and start with my first type of assignment, which is a discussion board. Here, my teacher has asked me a question, who's the best Avenger, and all I have to do to submit my answer is type in the box right here. And then I'll be able to click Post. If any of the other students in class have posted, I'll be able to see what they've said, and I can go ahead, I can reply to my post, I can reply to someone else's post, and my teacher can also reply to what I have posted. So I'll go ahead and click the Next button so we can move on to the next assignment. And here I have a type of assignment where my teacher has assigned me a Google Doc to work with. So here's the description. In this case, my teacher did not write a description, but there may be instructions here. I'll click on My Document. And it will open up the document my teacher has assigned me directly in my Google Drive. So here you can see I've been assigned to Google Slides, and I can directly edit this Google Slide without having to open anything up. So here's the title of my book report. I can also, if I click this Edit button here, it will go ahead and open up Google Drive for me, so I would be able to edit it if I needed that bigger screen. But I can also load here. After I've made all of my edits to my Google Doc, I will be clicking Submit Assignment. Are you sure you want to submit? If I'm not ready, I'll click Never Mind, but since I am, I'm going to click Yes, Submit. It'll show me that it has submitted and my submission is heading to my teacher. I'll click Done. Now let's say that as soon as I submit, I realize that I answered something entirely wrong. I'll be able to click the Unsubmit button up here at the top. That'll take my assignment back, and I'll be able to resubmit. But otherwise, my assignment is done. I can no longer edit this because I don't have access. Its access has gone to my teacher. And so to get back to my folder, I'll click up here under Unit 1.1. And I have one more type of assignment to show you. So here's my last assignment. In this one, my teacher just assigned me your science poem. So to go there, I will click Submit Assignment. There are a few different ways that I could submit my assignment. I could upload a file from my computer itself. I can go to the Create button 
and I would be able to type my response directly in. You can see I have lots of editing choices up here. But the version the button you will most likely be using is this resources button here. Under the resources button, choose apps. You'll have to have the Google Drive resource app installed. If you don't have that installed, you'll need to go to the resources tab up here at the top. But by clicking the Google Drive resources app, you'll be able to look into your Google Drive. You'll be able to find anything that's listed in here. And I want to find my biology poem. So I will search for that. Here it is right here. I will click to choose this and I'll choose import file. It may take a minute depending upon how fast your internet is, but it will go ahead and input my document. My assignment is now submitted and I am all done. So here we went over three different types of assignments that you can submit, and if you have any other questions, be sure to ask your teacher.